Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Um, this is my second video in one day. I've never done that before, but the Lord laid it on my heart to talk about this topic um, and to compare it with my experience and just to um, hopefully shed some light on what is going on within the flat earth community. Two years ago when I started my channel, I basically was confessing that, yes, I believe that the earth is flat. And I was using um, just not only what, you know, the videos that I was watching at that time that really brought it home to me, but also just, you know, the Bible, all those years of learning up to that point and just realizing how um, so many conflicts with the information between what I was learning in school and science classes and then what the Bible said, you know, the Genesis 1 account mainly. And, uh, but basically knowing that the earth is flatter when you come into that knowledge, that is not what is going to uh, that is not what is going to make you, I don't believe, um, acknowledge God. That is not what is going to do it. Um, you know, there are people, the powers, you know, who know about the firmament, who have hidden, um, the ice wall from the world, you know, um, with the treaty that they all signed, the nations, um, they know about this. They know the truth about the earth, that the earth is flat and it is not a spinning ball. So that proves that the knowledge of the flat earth is not what is going to make you right with God or make you want to acknowledge him. The other evidence is found in the Bible. I'm going to turn to Romans chapter 1. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with verse um, 17. It says, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. They hold the truth in unrighteousness. So they hold the truth because they know it, but they're unrighteous because they don't have a right relationship with the Lord. Verse 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. You see, God has given, he's poured into every person, you know, at birth, him, the knowledge of him. Um, even if you weren't, um, raised in the church or raised as a Christian or raised to know about um, a creator. Um, Romans 1 tells us that it is something that is innate. It is something that is innate in us, within us, to, to just know God. Because it says, for God has showed it unto them and to us. Verse 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Verse 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. To repeat, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Okay, so all of these people, these pseudoscientists, um, you know, scientism, uh, people who are just um, giving us false facts, who believe um, you know, <laughs> believe that they are gods. That is what they're doing. They know that the earth is flat and they know that this whole thing is a hoax, but they do not want to glorify God. And so they 
are rejecting that even though it is clearly seen it says you know the invisible things are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made they know they know that god exists he's the creator that he made things <laughs> he made the earth flat he made everything they, they know that but because their imaginations became so vain and their hearts their foolish hearts were so darkened that is when they came up with all of these lies about the earth okay so um it just proves that you know when you come into the knowledge of the flat earth that is not always going to be the wake-up call for people because as we've seen and I, I did a video about I said truthers who are still in darkness they they want to blow the lid off of this story and say yes we've been lied to the earth is not a spinning ball so they believe the earth is flat but knowing that does not change anything about you inside as far as your spirit your heart your mind towards God because it goes down to verse 20 um, which verse is it verse 25 it says who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and served the creature more than the Creator who was blessed forever amen so there are so many people who have now they've made the creation of the earth which is flat earth that has become like their idol just like these other people they would worship um, it says um, birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things they they started to worship creation and they just completely ignored and rejected God so the knowledge of flat earth is is very significant um, I think to hopefully shock people you know it's like a, a shock that will kind of jolt their systems and, and their consciousness consciousness and hopefully help them to say oh well why such a big lie why such a big lie and wow they are trying to hide God I, you know that is that is our hope that that's what it does that's why we are telling so many people the Christians who are um, believers in the flat earth but we also know that that is not the end of it because there are people who already know that the earth is flat who are um, willingly and willfully willfully pushing the spinning ball and willfully rejecting God and it says you know he has shown it it's clear um, it's clearly seen and yet they are still choosing to reject him so the flat earth acknowledgement never um, caused you know like let's go back to the Old Testament Israel you know God's chosen people his elect that knowledge did not make them righteous the ones who rebelled okay they were always rebelling against God and being disobedient which is why they were enslaved and they went through all kinds of bad situations because of their disobedience and in the same way that you know when we all thought that the earth was a spinning ball we did not consort with uh, people who practiced witchcraft <laughs> um, we did not consort with people who stole or killed or you know just people who use profanity all the time or just were just rebellious in, in all their ways and um, just you know we, we didn't consort with those people just because we all believed that at that point in time that the earth was a spinning ball the shape of the earth is not what gives you solidarity in other words and I wish I could have thought of some better examples off the top of my head but you know but the the shape of the earth is not what causes solidarity it's not um, in that same way so when you become a flat earther it's not like oh we are all flat earthers you know and like I said I don't really call myself a flat earther I I'm a Christian who believes that the earth is flat 
okay? So the people who believe that the earth is flat is not going to be like solidarity. I mean, it's basically like, okay, I'm glad that we know the truth about this, but what is the most important thing? Acknowledging God, our creator, Lord and Savior. If that's not the pinnacle of, of our ties, then there really is no reason why we would be, uh, you know, connected or walking together because we really can't walk together if we're unequally yoked when it comes to that. You can't. Um, so that is why I just feel like, you know, the awakening is only really for people who walk in truth and in light. Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Jesus is the light of the world. He is. So you are trying to navigate your way through, you know, conspiracies and, oh, the government lied and all of this and that, and you're getting angry, rightfully so, but um, you're still in darkness. You're still in darkness, spiritual darkness. You don't want to change your life. All you want to do is blame and point the finger and say, yes, the government. This is just one other lie. There are so many lies. So many lies. Why? Because Satan is the God of this world. He's the God of this world. So, um, everything was already, you know, falsified before we got here. And they made sure that they kept all of this hidden as best they could, but we are in the age now of apocalypse, which means to reveal, revelation, revelation, okay? Revelation, as in the Bible revelation, we are in these days. So the flat earth is great. It's great that you know that the earth is flat, but honestly, just as these people in Romans 1, they saw God, nature itself proclaimed God, Creation itself, cre you know, creation itself proclaims God. That was not enough for them. They still decided, because of their hardened hearts, to reject God and to turn away and to worship the create creature or the creation more than the Creator. You know, how is that profiting anyone? So that's why I just say, I'm glad that I did learn the truth about the earth being flat. But most importantly, I'm thankful that I'm, I know Jesus Christ is my savior. I know that he alone died for my sins and saved me. Not any work I've ever done not my righteousness, his righteousness. He is my righteousness of what he did alone, alone, all by himself. All I did was I confessed with my mouth and believed in my heart, true faith of what he did on that cross. And he rose on that third day with all power. That is the truth that you have to know and come to know. Um, everything else, it's great that you're uncovering things and everything, but um, please, we cannot leave this world without Jesus Christ as our Savior, because we will be doomed, destined to spend eternity in hell if we do not confess him as our Savior, as our Lord and our Savior. That is the most important thing, okay? But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the video here. I, I pray that this helps someone, that this reaches someone, and that they um, examine themselves, as we must do, examine ourselves, our hearts, our thoughts, and turn it over to God. And just let God know, yes, I am weak. 
I am weak and I don't know. I'm confused. Where do I go from here? Cry out to him and he will hear you and he will answer you. Oh, yes, he will. Because God is real. And you must know that. You see, you can't just say it. Just, you know, go through the motions of it from your heart. Just call out to him so that he can make himself known to you in a real, real way. Because that's what is the important thing. That is the main thing. That is the main thing. Not flat earth. Not anything else, any jewels that you have uh, learned over the years. It is Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And we have to know that. We have to know and we have to accept it. And we have to surrender to that. That's the most important thing. Okay? As again, I said, um, I hope that this blesses someone. And please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please be my new subscriber. Okay, well, um, I'm going to end the video here. You guys, um, be blessed. And I will see you very soon. God willing. Take care. And I love you.